Next homologacies that we'll try to name are called carboxylic acids. And uh, let's revise what carboxylic acids were. Carboxylic acids. Now carboxylic acids were uh, they were molecules which had this functional group in them. They had a C double bond O and an OH attached. So this functional group and there would there would be a molecule attached to this. So if a molecule had this particular functional group, if it had uh, this group of atoms in the exact same arrangement then this molecule would be called a carboxylic acid and uh, we can draw a few carboxylic acids and uh, do a few examples let's say that there's a there's a carboxylic acid which has two carbon atoms so there would be a C double bond O and an OH group attached to one carbon atom and the rest would all be the same it would be a carbon chain as usual so this molecule is a carboxylic acid. Why? Because it has this particular arrangement of molecules. It has C double bond O and OH. And it's not necessary that the carboxylic acid is drawn to the towards the right. You can draw an inverted version of this as well. Uh, you can have C double bond O and an OH group attached to the left hand side as well. These two molecules are exactly the same. They are flipped versions of each other. So. So it's not necessary that uh, you always need to draw it on the right hand side. It can be on the left hand side as well. Uh, it could be an inverted version, but it's simply C double bond O and OH. If there's a C double bond o, o and an OH group attached to one carbon atom, then it's definitely a carboxylic acid. We need to move to the to how do we how do we name carboxylic acids? Now it's again going to be named in the same manner. The starting name. or our prefix uh, would depend on the number of carbon atoms. Exactly the same. If there's one carbon atom, the name would be, if there's one carbon atom, the name is going to start off with uh, meth. If there are two, then it's going to start off with eth, then, and so on, prop, then but, four carbon atoms would be but, 5 would be pent, 6 would be hex, and 7 would be hept, and so on. So we've listed uh, the prefix uh, prefixes before as well. And the suffix in this particular case, the suffix or the latter part of the name is going to be, it's going to be a noic acid. Since it's an acid, you have to write down acid as well. So that's how the name would end. So we can try and name the molecules that we have drawn above. We can, uh, uh, it has two carbon atoms. This particular molecule has two carbon atoms. So the name would start off with, it's going to start off with eth and followed by a noic acid. Uh, there's one relief over here as well. You don't face the same problem as in butene and uh, in, in alkenes and alcohols. Uh, in alkenes and alcohols, you have to name the function. You have to write down the position of the functional group. In this particular case, the position is not required. The position of the functional group group is not needed and the reason it's not needed is that it's always going to be at the end it's always going to be at the very end it's always at the end or we can say at the start at the beginning the example is I've drawn two cases one in which it is at the end and one in which it is at the beginning you cannot have this functional group in the middle because uh, the carbon atoms would not be able to we can try one molecule let's try and draw c double bond o and oh in the center if you have a c double bond o and an oh group attached at the center then this carbon atom would be making too many bonds it's one two three four and five so this cannot happen you can't have a functional group like carboxylic acid in the in the middle of a molecule uh, another thing to remember is that uh, 
the this particular carbon atom another thing that you need to remember is that whatever the molecule you don't have to worry about the functional group but remember that this particular carbon atom over here which is part of the functional group uh, the numbering if it's needed would always start from this carbon atom numbering would always start from this carbon atom which means that this carbon atom is always going to be numbered one so you're always going to number your chain from this side in the previous cases you had to choose the side which gave you the smaller number but in this case you always choose the side uh, from which uh, on which the carboxylic acid functional group is attached now we can do a few examples let's do a few examples let's say I have three carbon atoms and there's a carboxylic acid function group attached to one of them the rest of the chain is the same old chain you have hydrogens attached to it the name of this molecule the starting name would be prop since it has three carbon atoms three carbon atoms the name would start with prop and since it's a, it's a carboxylic acid the name would be propanoic acid you don't need to number anything you don't need to tell the position because it's always either at the beginning or the end which is uh, which is probably the same thing it's just uh, they just flipped versions of each other let's uh, try and draw butanoic acid but has four carbon atoms then you're going to have this functional group the carboxylic acid functional group at the end or you can have it at the beginning as well so this would be but means that there are four carbon atoms anoic means that it's a carboxylic acid so the name is butanoic acid uh, and I told you that uh, it doesn't matter which side you 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 position the this particular function group if I'm drawing butanoic acid let's draw it the other way around let's put the function group at the beginning now if it's at the beginning you have all these hydrogen atoms attached to it so if it's at the very beginning you can look at the two molecules and you can figure out you'll notice one thing that they're basically flipped versions of each other so I simply flip the molecule on top and I'll get this particular molecule at the bottom so so these two are basically these two are exactly the same 